sharing on this. Right. So welcome everybody to our goal setting workshop with the amazing Liz Montigny. Um, so I'm really excited to introduce Liz tonight. So this is a huge, huge honor and blessing for Liz to come visit us tonight. So Liz and I met, I don't know, like maybe a month ago. <laughs> It wasn't mm -hmm. too long ago. We met in a networking yeah. group together and um, she actually was like the spotlight speaker for the day. And she, she gave a great presentation. I was like, this girl is like, we're vibing. Same. <laughs> we speak the same language. We got to talking more and she offered to do a goal setting workshop for all of us. So here she is tonight. And I'm just going to read her bio really quick so you guys know where she's coming from, okay? And forgive me for the reading. But she um, has covered a lot of ground from commuting to a cubicle every day to diving into entrepreneurship. As a personal coach, she empowers women to drop bad habits for good habits so they can simplify and love their life. How does that sound? <laughs> that would be awesome. Liz is proud to be a licensed Ziegler choose to win coach and a homeschooling bo boy mom. T, big, big earrings and living a toxin-free lifestyle are, are a few of her loves. So I think y'all can understand why Liz and I uh, get along so well. We have a lot of the same passions. And the fact that she comes from Ziegler, Zig Ziegler, I mean, we all just adore his teachings. So Good. without any further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to you, Liz. I have made you, I don't know if you have any slides or anything. You are you are a mm -hmm. presenter, or you're a okay. co-host as well. So you have complete access to this whole thing, so. Oh, perfect, great, thank you. I was gonna ask you that. Yes, thank you so much, Kristen, for inviting me in. Uh, to meet with your team. I so appreciate that. Um, and to team, I just want to tell you, Kristen is always looking out for you. Um, I've only been on a few of networking calls with her, but each time someone presents a golden nugget or something that would be of value to you, she always says, hey, can you give me more information about that? Because I think I need to tell my team. So I just wanted to share that because she's obviously a good leader and she's always you know, the wheels are always turning, looking out for you. So, um, so glad that we're doing this tonight and uh, good to be here. So thanks for the bio. You got the bio. Um, I live in, <clears throat> excuse me, I live in Somerset, Massachusetts uh, with my husband and three boys. My husband is a public school teacher. So it's kind of funny that we are homeschooling, but it just made sense uh, this school year to just, you know, commit to doing that. So it's been great. And uh, I am a licensed Ziegler Choose to Win coach. That simply means that I got my training, you know, from the Zig Ziegler Corp. Uh, and it sounds like a lot of you are familiar with him. You've probably seen the quotes and, you know, read the books and those kinds of things. So that is awesome. So um, as we go through, you know, the, the goal guide and, and just the things that I share, just know that it's not something that I, you know, pulled out of the sky and made up. This is proven uh, through the test of time and the stuff works. So um, that is a good thing to, to know for you going forward. Um, oh, good. More homeschoolers here. Glad to hear it. Uh, it's, it's our first year. So first quarter was a little <laughs> shaky, but we're feeling good now. Yeah. So uh, I like to call this goals with grit. Um, I love the word grit. Uh, and I just want to give you the definition, just be a little nerd here for a second. Uh, grit, it's a noun, courage and resolve, strength of character. Uh, and that's what it all comes down to with setting goals and sticking to the goals and following <laughs> through is the grit. You actually have to work. <laughs> you know, dreaming and looking at the vision board, it's awesome and you should definitely do it. But when it comes down to it, you, you really need to do the work. And um, I think that you'll find with this school sitting system, it's simple and you don't have to make it complicated, right? I mean, our lives are complicated enough with all the things that we have to do. So I get it. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna um, go through the, the guide just with you. Uh, and then I'm going to give you some do's and don'ts uh, for moving forward with those goals, because um, is there anybody on here who, you know, has grand ideas, they set the goals and then they kind of slide off in like a month. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley, Ashley knows what I'm talking about. Kristen. Okay. Yeah. Julie. Yeah. So it happens. Right. And this is really about how to not let that happen 
in the choice to keep moving forward okay and yeah somebody's typing in action yep exactly you're, you're right you're right there Kristen. so i'm gonna share my uh screen with you and let's see if we're gonna find it okay um there are my notes but i need to find the actual guide okay let's move this there we go here it is <laughs> okay now you would think after a year of zooming i would figure out how to see the chat as we're doing this but i i it's just so distracting to me so kristen i'm going to put you on the spot if there's like a really good question that comes up or something just tell me yeah that'd be i'll good. monitor the chat and, um, and just that. also guys keep in mind maybe write your questions down because yeah. we're going to have an opportunity at the end to ask liz yeah, totally. You'll have you'll have more. To if go. there's anything that's really, really we have to get to, I will let you know. Yeah, that's so great. Thank you. I appreciate that. OK, so um, first of all, just being on this call tonight, you're already ahead of the game. Um, you can see that statistic there that only three percent of the population have clearly defined objectives in life, um, which is kind of astounding, right? Um, I've also heard some other amazing stats about um, you're 42% more likely to reach your goal if you write it down, and you're 90% more likely to reach your goal if you have an accountability partner. So something you may want to consider is as you go through this guide and as you get through it, you know, do you want to team up with somebody here on the call, you know, to follow through? Or do you want to check in with me? You know, that's something to think about um, going forward because that'll just improve your odds for success for sure. Um, so action step one, this is so fun, okay? What I really, I'm going to go through the guide tonight, but really I want you to take like the next three days to think this over, okay? This is not a Netflix binge. This is your life, okay? So when it says activity step one, write your dream list, take your time doing that and don't prejudge yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Just whatever you can think of, write it down. Like what is your ultimate life? Just get it on paper. And as we go through this, you're going to learn how to narrow things down because initially it might look super overwhelming, right? <laughs> so just get it down on paper, okay? And then here's what I'm talking about with don't binge it. Action step two, wait. After you write down the ultimate list, wait 24 to 48 hours, and then come back to it, and we're gonna go through how to review that list. Now, something I wanna share briefly, have you guys, um, and I bet you probably heard of this because uh, I have direct sales experience as well. Have you ever heard your why should make you cry? Have you ever heard that term? Um, it makes me cringe a little bit <laughs> when I hear that. I get what it means. Like your why should be so big that it's just, it's overwhelming, like overwhelming in a good way. Like just so awesome, right? So I get that. Um, and I think what happens with goals is people forget the ultimate why and if you don't like the word why or if it doesn't resonate with you think of it as purpose what is your purpose in life because when things get tough on the goal front if you go back to that purpose that's what's going to fuel you okay and um give you the energy and the motivation to keep going. So I'm just going to share, I wrote a purpose statement for my life um, that I will share with you now, just to give you a sense. It might be something you want to develop for yourself, um, just to have this overarching statement for you, um, because it'll help you keep your eye on what you're doing. Uh, my purpose in life is to share my time, talent, and treasure to exemplify the mercy and love our Lord has for each one of us. My mission is to raise respectful and faith-filled boys to men and help women bridge the gap between their hopes and a holistic legacy so they can enjoy life to the fullest. Now, nowhere in there did I say how I'm going to do that, right? But that's what 
the goal action guide is all about. So I really encourage you, um, maybe, maybe this is even step zero <laughs> to write that purpose statement for yourself or that why statement, make sure that's really clear um, because that's going to get you through these action steps. <clears throat> so, so you got there, you got your dream list, right? You took some time to think about it a couple days. Okay. Um, and then you're going to come back to it. And this is where we're going to start narrowing things down. Um, and I, I really encourage you um, to read through each of these questions. So the third thing you're going to do is um, you're going to ask yourself these questions and you have to have a yes to these. Uh, and if there's not a yes, it, it needs to be removed from your list. So it's okay. Great, Sorry yeah. to interrupt you, Liz. Yeah. Judy, what are you asking her to repeat? Um, her, um, wait a minute. Oh, I, I am, I'm not, it's, it's the, um, the actual statement, her thing, because it, it leaked out. Oh, to share okay. my time, talent and treasure. Oh, sure. Yep. Uh, your, so your I said, statement. yeah, to share my time, talent and treasure to exemplify the mercy and love our Lord has for each one of us. My mission is to raise respectful and faith filled boys to men and help women bridge the gap between their hopes and a holistic legacy. So they can live life to the fullest. That's mine. Yours is going to be different, you know, but my point is with that and just sharing that is that you want that overall overarching purpose statement, because that's really going to um, help fuel you in my coaching. I call it a legacy statement. It's like, what do you want to be known for? Right? Like when you're not, you're not in the room. What do you want people to say about you? Uh, what do you want them to say about your family? Uh, so that's something to really consider because that's going to get you through um, seeing the goals to the end. Um, so you've got the dream list. Uh, you, wait, you took some time to, to wait and, and come back to it and review it. So you're not rushing through it. You're not binging it. Okay. And now here you are at action step three. And you're going to ask yourself these questions. They have to be yes. Okay. Is it really my goal? If you, you know, if you have a, a minor, you know, kids living at home, if you're um, an employee, like you, you know, your day job or whatever, some of your goals have to be um, set, you know, by that manager or whatnot. Um, and sometimes, um, it's not really your goal. Like somebody put it on you. So really make sure it's yours. Uh, number two, is it morally right and fair for everyone concerned? That's where I think the family factor comes in. You know, I have three boys. Am I going to go take off, you know, for a month because I want to travel? That's not going to work, you know, <laughs> like stuff like this. So it sounds simple, but sometimes when you look at it, you just have to make sure um, that it's not a, a selfish, a selfish one, like that it's purposeful. Uh, number three, is it consistent with my other goals? Uh, you know, you could think of it that very simply, if you're trying to get fit and you're trying to eat well and exercise, then, um, you know, you're going to really pay attention um, to what you consume. Um, so that's just, you know, the consistency. Um, if you have something else on your list that doesn't line up with being fit and being well, then, you know, you need to check that, check the checks and balances. Uh, can I emotionally commit myself to finishing the goal? Can you see yourself? Uh, do you have like a little movie in your mind of getting there? Uh, I know somebody who wants to be a professional golfer. So he always talked about, talks about, I can see myself holding the trophy, you know, whatever that may be for yourself. Um, it's kind of fun to play that daydream for yourself, but it's not only fun, it helps you along the path. Um, and that goes along with, can I see myself doing it? The seeing and the emotional, like, I believe that I can do it. 
So um, answering these questions, you know, with a big fat yes, um, is going to further narrow down that list. Uh, and that's going to help you keep going and really get some focus. Uh, your next action step, uh, that is action step four. For your remaining ones, so the ones that are still on the list, uh, ask yourself these questions. And if you can't answer yes to at least one of these, that's another thing you want to cross off your list. Okay. So will reaching this goal make me happier? Well, gosh, I hope so. What are you doing? <laughs> right? Healthier? Again, hope so. More prosperous? And prosperous doesn't necessarily mean um, money, cash. There are, there are so many ways to be wealthy, right? So consider that. Um, will the, reaching this goal win me more friends? Will your circle of influence expand? Will reaching this goal give me peace of mind? That's huge, right? Will reaching this goal make me more secure? And again, is that secure financially? Is that secure in your living situation? Is that secure um, with your family? Whatever that may be. Will reaching this goal improve my relationship with others? And one I would like to add is, will this goal give me hope for the future? Right? That's what this is all about. It's about taking you where you are now and helping you get to that ideal place for yourself. So again, if you can't answer yes to at least one of those, just, just cross it off, okay? And there's a really important note here, don't confuse pleasure with happiness, okay? And you be sure to consider your family or anyone that you may be taking care of uh, when you're answering these questions, okay? So, Mike, I just want to check in. Everything good on the chat land, Kristen? <laughs> okay, great. It is. I think everyone's massively engaged because this is okay. really, really good stuff. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. So, step five. So, I really got crazy with step five. I got out my gel pens. Is anybody else a gel pen freak with the colors? That's me. I got the erasable ones. Okay. So, I broke out my gel pens and this is where I color coded things about being on a timeline. I will admit, I am not, this is something that I did not do much of uh, prior to this is setting out a timeline for myself. I'm not a very patient person and I want everything like done. So I would always make these very Herculean goals for myself that were not very realistic. So. I really encourage you if you're if you're somebody like that. Um, I really encourage you to take a close look at this this next step, step five. And if you if you're a visual like me as well, you know if you want to break out the, the markers, the pens, go for it. But um, I just put them into different categories, right? Some of them have to be big, like they're out of reach, but they're not ridiculously out of sight, right? because you have to stretch, you have to have some, some room for growth, right? Number two, some goals need to be longer range to keep you on track and reduce the possibility of short range frustrations. And we're gonna, a little bit, in just a, a little bit, I'm gonna talk about those frustrations that come up for, for all of us. Um, some goals must be small and daily, right? To keep you disciplined and in touch with nitty gritty life. So for me, that's water. For me, that's more morning routine before the boys get up. Um, I, you know, my day just goes better when I do that. Um, and ultimately their day is better because mom is not, you know, mama bear grumpy pants. So, um, and that just focuses um, my time with them and my time, my work. So, you know, the daily ones are there. Uh, your daily goal could even be to work on your goals, especially if you're that kind of person that lets it drift away after a month, okay? Some goals are ongoing. Again, I think those are the daily goals. And some goals require somebody else's help, right? Analysis, consultation. 
to determine where you are uh, before you set those goals. So a big, big example for me in my life with that recently was, um, you know, we're getting ready to put our house on the market and we know it needs some work. So I finally brought a real estate uh, agent in and I just said, you know, what do we need to do and what do we not need to do? She saved us so much money and so much time by telling us, do this, don't do that, right? Whereas what a headache we would have had if we just moved forward with, with what we thought needed to be done. So don't, um, don't be afraid to enlist somebody's help. Often, especially with realtors, uh, financial planners, often with people in those spheres, they'll consult with you for free. So take advantage of it, right? And then, and then you'll have the expert. Um, be very specific. Be very specific in your goals. Um, the, this is a great example here about the dream home, right? Most of us have that on our vision board uh, if we're not already in it. Um, so just saying, you know, it's a nice house in a certain spot, that's not going to do it for you. Get really specific. What's in the house? What does it look like? Who's there? Uh, you know, all the nitty gritties. Uh, because the more specific you're going to get, the more tangible it's going to be for you. And, um, you know, you're, you, that motivation is going to be more real for you. Um, the other example here, you know, you want to be, you want to be a better parent. Okay. What does that mean? You have to get a specific habit. So you're, what does that mean? Maybe it means for us, it means we have three boys. So uh, we take turns bringing them out on a solo lunch or an errand where just the, you know, mom and that child or dad and that child go on. Okay. And that's something specific that you can create for being a better parent. Right. Um, anything in the chat, Kristen? No. Okay. Gonna nope, keep lots of people taking notes. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For You're sure. Nailing it. All right. Um, for the remaining goals, uh, prayerfully, if you're not a faith-based person like I am, that's okay. Meditate again, take some time and choose four of the goals that are left on your list. Okay. Cause the idea is that we want you to get super specific. And also we want you, um, to take some action and do something right. If you, if your list is too long, whoa. So narrow it down to the four that you need to nail or work on daily right now, okay? And, um, and that'll, that'll help you take some action. So there is plenty of, well, I shouldn't say plenty of space because I write pretty big, but there's um, in the guide, there's actually some, some space for you to fill in if you wanna use that, if you have your own journal, Okay. Um, you know, that can help too, but I want to point out, I'm going to scroll a little bit. I hope I don't make you sick. So I'm going to get there. Hang on. Okay. So they have an example of what this would look like. Okay. in this goal chart. And I want to point out two key things here that may be obvious, but I just like to, to highlight it. Um, in the past, before I have used this um, strategy, uh, I've made the beautiful list, right? The fun, amazing list, but I never made the list that talked about the obstacles that I'm gonna run into. I think this is really key, especially for those of us who hear our moms and doing all the things, because let's face it, obstacles are gonna come your way, and I think most of us know what those could possibly be, right? So write them down ahead of time because when they pop up, you're gonna look back at the benefits of reaching this goal. And those benefits, that benefit list, as you can see here, far is much longer than the obstacle list, right? So when you hit the obstacle, just go back to your benefits list and be like, okay, okay, I get it now, right? Right, I hit this part, but I'm gonna get through it because look what's on the other side of it. 
So that was key for me because I had never done that before. Um, so definitely do that. And don't be afraid to get that, get the help that you need if you need it. Um, I'm going to now switch to, if anybody has questions on this, let me know, because I'm going to just switch gears to some, some do's and don'ts as you're working through this. Is there any, anything there, Kristen? No, but people are loving your, um, the addition of adding obstacles to goals. I think that's kind of like a, uh, a mind expansion moment for many of us. Cause <laughs> we yeah. don't do that. We, I no. mean, for me, I've whenever, I mean, I've, I've got health coaching in my background and that was, I mean, that was not part of it. It was the smart goals. Like that's what I learned. Yeah. So this is, this is really right. good stuff. Yeah. Most of it. Yeah. Because most of it's like the, everything's great and look at this and, you know, sparkle emoji and all that stuff. Yep. But you do have to think about what you're going to run into. Totally. So yeah. Good. Yeah. So here's a couple of do's and don'ts and they're actually at the end of the guide. So again, I'm going to scroll. Sorry for the seasickness. Ah, all right. Um, I'm going to highlight just a few of them. Okay. One is, let me see if I can blow it up. Okay. One is this one C here. So don't let others rain on your parade. Sorry, my kids are wrapping up dinner and getting a little loud. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Real life. Boy, mom. Yes, real life. Thank you. I got to work on getting the noise. Right. Thank Definitely. you. Thank you for making us feel normal. I have slamming going on downstairs. I'm like, yeah. if somebody makes me go downstairs, I'm, I'm like, like, oh man. <laughs> but anyway, I got to get those noise canceling headphones, but that's on the list. All right. So don't let others rain on your parade. I mean, have you ever been in a situation where you were super pumped about something and then you started sharing it with people and then all of a sudden it wasn't so great anymore because this person said, well, why are you going to do that? You know what's going to happen? Or this person said, you know, just all of a sudden all the negative Nellies show up, right? And it's not about you or what you were doing. It's about them and their fear, right? And they're just putting that out there, you know, for you. So um, Ziegler has this, this fun little word, don't be a, a sni op. Susceptible, suscept I can't even say it. Susceptible to the negative influence of other people. So here's a little tip for that. For the goals that are like, what's the word I'm looking for here? The give up goals, the goals that are like, I want to quit smoking or I want to, you know, start um, working out three times a week or whatever it is, right? For those goals where um, you can be easily held accountable by somebody else and it's about giving up something, you know, the smoking, the eating too much of this one thing that you love. People will cheer you on for that. And they're more likely to be like, hey, did you stick to that? Share those goals readily because they're, other people are gonna be your accountability partners in that. And you're also at the same time going to be inspiring those people because they see you sticking to that give up goal. But with those other goals, like I was just talking about those bigger ones that, you know, maybe require some mind expansion, as Kristen was saying, for other people, I, I would keep those close to you, you know, or to people that you really, you know, know, like, and trust, um, because you don't want that negative influence um, just raining on your brain. Who needs that? Uh, become a team player. Okay. So you're all here a team, right? You know, maybe after this workshop, maybe you guys decide that you're gonna have, I don't know, a, Kristen, do you have a group, like a team group on Facebook or something? Yes, Probably. we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe there's a post once a week that says, you know, what did you do this week? Or what are you celebrating or, or something? You know, just to cheer each other on. Um, but also to hold each other accountable. I'm, I'm big for the cheering each other on because um, I don't, I'm not very good at celebrating. <laughs> like I'm one of those people who's like, okay, I did it. <laughs> What's the next thing? But 
the celebrating, I think is huge, especially for us as women and for those of us who are moms, take the time to celebrate what you did and that you grew and, and enjoy that. Um, that's really gonna be a confidence booster. And if confidence is, is something that you struggle with, um, you can't really think your way to confidence. Correction, you need to have the right, right mental attitude, but what else comes with confidence is actually doing it. So you're never gonna know how it's gonna work out until you do it. And the more you do it, the better you get, the more confidence you build. So consider that for the team player. Uh, number nine, see the reaching like I talked about earlier. Use those imaginations, um, use those vision boards, um, whatever it is, make that kind of mental movie in your mind. Uh, if you're not good at that, like if you're not good at the visualization, you know, maybe put that vision board together or hop onto Pinterest or Unsplash and find some images that just, you know, make you feel inspired or kind of, um, you know, are similar to what you're, what you're reaching. And then a little bit about the confidence that I was talking about. You know, each time you're checking off these goals, that confidence is just going to build. That skill is just going to build. Um, and you are just going to keep going. So even when you think you've reached the top, you're going to see even further because you went through this process. And what's really nice is that you're going to be um, you're going to be the lighthouse for people. You're going to be the beacon. Um, and I know that we talk about a lot that a lot in de uh, network marketing and direct sales and everything. Just just be that beacon for people. OK, people are looking for that, especially now after a year of whatever this is, <laughs> like, you know, we need that. Um, so be that beacon. So I hope that was helpful. I'm going to just um, going to open it up to questions um, or or not even if you don't have questions if you want to just you had a comment or you want to put a goal out there because you want some accountability um, I'm open to that too I'll stop sharing. that's awesome Liz yeah uh, so I guess my question is and I think I, I, I had mentioned it just a minute ago yeah. um, like are smart goals now out like the systematic measurable you know all that that acronym is that right. kind of like passe or like what are your thoughts on that yeah um I'm, I'm definitely familiar with smart and i'm not saying they're passe or anything like that um i just feel that having gone through this mm -hmm. um step by step that it's just it feels more in depth and more connected to what you really want out of life um so i i can't say whether smart is good or bad right i mean if it resonates with you go girl <laughs> but um yeah i just i just felt like you know there were some things in this program that really were game changers for me so that's why it just resonated so much but um yeah yeah i think i think the obstacles was really was really what hit home for people mm -hmm. really identify those and mm -hmm. also what what hit me i'm right i was kind of writing down the things that really resonated with me were the yeah. go, go up goals you don't share that with everybody yeah <laughs> because because of those those i put in the chat the crabs in the bucket you know the right. people that, that want to bring you down <clears throat> that are so miserable in their own existence that they're just like oh you'll never do that that's that's it's a pipe dream right so like really deciding who gets to know right. your your true hopes and desires so i thought that was that was really important to bring to uh, bring to light here yeah and and it you made the right point it's really about them and you know how they're feeling about life um yeah. and and it's not and it doesn't mean that you're you're being deceitful or anything like that it's just um Keep those, keep those close to you until, until you're ready to, to move or just watch, let people watch you move. And they're going to be like, whoa, what are you doing? And then you can, you know, share more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So does anybody have questions for Liz? I have somebody, but I want everyone to go yeah. first. Yeah. Ashley. Cool. 
Yeah, I have a question. This was great. And thank you, Kristen, for opening it up to all your buddies. Um, I So I'm looking at this new, the gold chart that, yeah. that you gave us. And Kristen is right. Adding the obstacles is mind expanding. I love that so much. I'm curious how much of this planning and even if it's something we should even be doing while we're working on this should we even be focusing on so we list the obstacles we're going to run into we need to make plans on or do you suggest even putting energy into making a plan on how we're going to tackle those obstacles when they arise or do we just we notice them recognize them and go back to the the benefits and the why yeah, purpose. yeah, that's a really great question. What I see this as when the obstacle comes up, as you're working through it and the obstacle comes up, um, first of all, congratulations, you knew it was going to happen. Second of all, just go back to the benefits that number two, the benefits of reaching this goal or the why or the purpose statement, whatever you want to call it. Go back to that because those benefits are far outweighing the obstacles. And I'm not saying, I don't want you to focus on the obstacles. No, no. I'm just saying when they pop up, oh, wait, I know this is going to happen. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's how I'm going to work through it. Does that help? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that does help. I would, and the, that was kind of what I was thinking. I was like, I don't want to focus on the obstacles. Right. And is it even productive to make a plan of action to get out of those obstacles? Or does that like, then you're in this rabbit trail of like manifesting yeah, no. these obstacles to happen that you don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. you just recognize that it's going to happen when you hit it. Be like, Hey, I knew this was going to happen. Let me look back at my benefits. You know, a lot of the times it's a mental thing that happens and you just need to just need to keep going. Right. It's all mental, right? All right. Of mm-hmm. It's all in our heads. Yeah. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Yeah. That was such a um, question. Anyone uh-huh. else have questions? Is is Ekaterini on the line? If not, I will ask her a question on her behalf. Okay. Is she on? I don't know if I see her. Let me look at my participants. I'm gonna um, okay. So I don't think she is here. So here is her question. Yeah. I'm reading it from my other my other screen. What advice could Liz share around setting goals related to making a significant career transition? exploring or moving into a completely different career after o- over 25 years at the same company. Wow. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got for, for our good friend, Ekaterini? <laughs> oh man. That's, ex- first of all, that's exciting. Right? I know when she said that, I'm like, woo, get it. <laughs> wow. I mean, if, if she was here, I would ask her a couple things. I would ask her what she's currently doing and does she know what she wants to do? Um, if she does, then I would ask her about that. If she doesn't know, um, I would ask her, um, obviously this process we just went through would be pretty amazing for her, Mm -hmm. but I would also, I'm going to paste into the chat. There's a really excellent article on finding your why. Um, and that's something that somebody in that position may want to go through because it'll help you figure out what you're really into in life. Um, And then there's just another um, question that I, and I'm just grabbing it here. There's a question I like to stop and ask myself, and you can really do this with anything in life, whether it's it's a career change or not. Um, And I would just ask these these questions. Because what I'm about to, and this is with anything that you're deciding to go through, does this bring me closer to or further from my goal? Or you could say it another way, does this support the life I want to build? So especially if you're one of those people that says yes to everything, I really encourage you to stop. Just pause for a minute and really think about what you're saying yes to, even the little things. Um... The other thing I would say to somebody who's making that transition, you know, without her being here and asking some questions is um, uh, just start doing it. Like, for example, uh, I know somebody who 
is moving from real estate to coaching. And he was worried about how he was showing up, you know, for social media and stuff. And basically the tip was for him, um, this was in a mastermind I was in, just start doing it. Just start showing up as that person. And it's going to naturally, naturally happen. But that's really exciting. If she wants to email me, you know, feel free. I'll, I'll I will. I was, I was taking yeah. notes and I was going to, I'm going to send her the replay yeah. and the question and the link and in your, yeah. your contact information. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> and I'll, I'll pop that in the chat in a second. That was, that was really good. Yeah. All right. I know you guys have questions. There has to be other questions. If there's not, that's okay too. I know I just spouted a bunch this of stuff. Is, this is <laughs> really, really, really good. And again, coming from, um, you know, I mean, I got my health coach certification over 10 years ago, mm. but like even coming from this background, it's, this was just much more comprehensive nice. and um, really aligns with a lot of the personal development stuff that we, I mean, and you're, again, you're coming from direct sales network marketing as well. Mm -hmm that what we pour into, like, it was just, yeah. just such a nice um, dovetail of the stuff that we kind of have been learning and, and incorporating into our lives and our businesses. Yes. And, um, you know, of course the Ziegler stuff, it's just, it's was really, really well put together. So, and I Great. love the guide. Great. As a type yeah. A, I love the guide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then color coded gel pens. I was like, oh yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> Love them. I'm going to put my uh, contact info in the chat. Um, and basically, if you want to dive into this further with me, you're more than welcome to get on my calendar. Um, I offer a complimentary strategy session. Uh, and it's basically, I just want to know where you are now and where you want to go. And I can help you get there. If we're the right fit, we can talk about it. If we're not, that's okay too. And, and we'll figure out what you need. Um, that's my website in there. And then um, I'm just gonna share this real quick. If I can find it um, for, did it share? It did, yep, we it, can see oh, it, perfect. We go. Now you can, but you can see my notes. Okay, there it is, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so this is my group coaching, which is starting uh, in April. So this is just a little bit about it. If that's something you want to chat about, or if there's some, you know, uh, teammates in here that you want to go through it with, um, then I definitely encourage you to get on my calendar. And that's, that's basically the first step is just, let's talk on the phone first. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. And see next steps. So thank you. And then, so I'm, I copied your, the um, information I'm going to, again, I'll share this with the replay and everything. So Good. people that are listening to the replay are able to contact you. And like you said, do a strategy session, just see if this is a good fit. Yeah. Um, so we can, we can get that. I know, cause I know a lot of people are, are not able to physically be here live tonight, but I'm, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of people that want to access the replay and of course your expertise. So does anyone have any final questions? This was so good, Liz. Good. Okay, great. Thank I'm you glad. so yeah. much. Good. Um, yep, chat. Everyone loves it. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, just um, like it. I said, don't hesitate to email me, whatever, you know, message me on Facebook. It's all awesome. good. And do you have a Facebook page as well? I do. It's okay. just all Liz Montigny coaching. Okay, so, I'll find that as well, and I'll, yeah. I'll include that in the follow-up. So then people have multiple ways of getting getting in contact with you. But what's the best way that we can get in hold of you? Or get a hold of you? Is it just your your website or? Yeah, you can message? just email me or Messenger. Like I feel like I'm always answering Messenger. Um, I'm gonna put my email here. Awesome. Yep. All right, I'll copy that as well, so I don't lose that. So, you know, of, of the mind, if I don't do it now, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> in one and out the other. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Any, anything else or any feedback? If not, that's good. You know how to reach me. So. Awesome. Yep. Great information. Yay. Okay, good. It was a hit. Okay, good. Well, I'm so glad. Thank you so much, much Liz. Later. We yeah. are so appreciative of you and I'm sure you're going to be hearing from some folks at okay. least at the very least just to have a have a conversation so yeah of course That's thank you awesome. thank you thank you thank Thanks you so much ladies. and your gifts with us oh have a thank great you. night
Bye. Bye, everyone.